If you're a nursing or healthcare student, you've probably got a ton of assignments to get done and not enough time to do them. In this video, I'm sharing a few tips and strategies as a nursing professor to help you consistently get high grades in your nursing courses and in those assignments. Let's get into it. Hi everyone, my name is Professor Jess B and this is LJ. Say hello. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, this channel was created to support nursing and healthcare students just like you. As a nursing professor and educator, I offer tips and expert advice that will help you succeed in school and in your new career. If this is something that you're interested in, show me some love and support. Hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on weekly videos. If you're in nursing school, I know it's a juggling act and a challenge to be getting high grades on all your assignments. You've got this course and that course and your reflections and your care plans and your essays. It's not easy. How on earth are you going to consistently achieve those high marks in each of those assignments? Well, here are five things you can do throughout your studies so you have the ability to consistently get those high grades in nursing school. Tip number one, attend your classes. Um, this is a no-brainer. If you're in nursing school, the expectation is that you show up to class. Even with your online courses, if your prof is holding a synchronous lesson, show up. Why, you might ask? Not only because you've paid for it in your tuition, but because your assignments depend on it. If you don't know the content or the concepts that are being covered in class, then how are you going to expect yourself to talk about them in depth in your assignment? Attend each of your classes so you understand important terms and concepts that you will be expected to know when you do your assignment. Remember guys, assignments are meant to evaluate you, right? So your assignments are not simply about regurgitating what was covered in class. Instead, use the assignments to demonstrate your understanding and application of the topic. Tip number two, master the art of note-taking. Okay, the skill of note-taking is a must in any nursing or healthcare program. Some professors might even be gracious enough to create lecture notes in point form for each week. This would be a bonus. So don't rely only on your professor's notes to get you by and don't rely on your friend's notes either. You got to take your own notes, not only so you can have them and refer to them when you need to, but in fact, research tells us that learning happens as we take notes. Taking notes the right way leads to good study practices, better performance on exams, and long-term retention of information. And that's what we want, right? We want information to sink into our brains so we remember it and understand it. When you take your own notes, you'll be more confident discussing a topic in your assignment because you've retained information about it already through your note-taking. And guys, don't beat yourself up if you don't have perfect notes. How many of us do? This is a skill you will continuously develop with practice and time. So keep working on it. Tip number three, start your assignment early. We all get busy. We all have lives outside of school, outside of work, and some of us are procrastinators. I get that. But starting your assignment early has a lot of advantages. First off, there's less stress less pressure to get it done so you're not rushing or cutting corners. It gives you time and space to think and be creative and even ask questions or seek clarification from the professor. It gives you a buffer in case things go wrong, like your computer crashes or your uh, files get lost or corrupt or your internet goes down or a family emergency arises. As a professor, I tell students to start their assignments at least a week in advance, minimum. Just don't leave your assignment until the final hour because your professor may be less inclined to give extensions when they're receiving a panicked email one hour before the assignment is due. Trust me, I've been the recipient of many emails like that saying, my internet crashed or I didn't know it was due today or I didn't understand the assignment. 
You want my advice as a professor? Get organized and give yourself enough time to chip away and work on your assignment day to day instead of leaving it to the last minute. Plus, when you start your assignment early, you have the time to clarify and ask questions about it in class. Tip number four, review and understand the assignment instruction. You might think you know what the assignment is all about. And in order to be sure, you've got to read the assignment instructions over and over and over. Pay attention to the details, such as the word count, page limits, headings to include, topics to discuss, the number of scholarly articles you need to include. All of these details are important, so don't deviate from what is required. Also, pay attention to the verbs that are used in the assignment instructions. Things like discuss, summarize, analyze, examine, reflect, criticize. Each of these verbs are asking you to do something very specific in your assignment. For example, I had a student who once submitted a reflection paper, and instead of reflecting and analyzing something that he experienced as a nursing student, he described what he did during that shift. He met his patient, he went for a break, then he gave medications. This is not what I wanted to see. So bottom line, review the assignment instructions and make sure you understand what is required. Tip number five, develop your scholarly writing skills. If you're in a professional program like nursing, for example, you will be expected to demonstrate your scholarly writing skills. But what exactly does that mean, you might ask? Well, I've got a whole video on scholarly writing and how to get started as a scholarly writer. So if you want to check that out, I'll include it in the description box below. Basically, scholarly writing is a form of communication where you present your ideas clearly, succinctly, and accurately while incorporating your own thoughts and analysis about an issue. What you write and how you write it are important in scholarly writing. So be sure to back up your thoughts and views using evidence and literature and ensure the presentation of your work includes the right formatting, spelling, punctuation, and grammar. Trust me, your professors will be expecting this type of writing in your assignment. Getting high grades in your nursing courses takes more than just being smart or memorizing content. Let's recap some valuable tips we dropped today. Set yourself up for success by doing the following. Number one, attend classes regularly. Number two, master the art of good note-taking. Number three, start your assignments early. Number four, review the assignment instructions. And finally, number five, develop your skills as a scholarly writer. If you plan to use any of these strategies, or if you found something that's really worked for you, I'd love to hear about your success and your experiences. If you want to learn more about how to write your assignments or reflections, or how to create nursing care plans, I've got a whole series of videos that might help you. Go check them out in the description box below, and I'll even email you a few cheat sheets and templates for free if you're interested. Hey guys, thanks for joining me on the JLT channel today. I promise I've got more good content for you like this video over here. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and even share this video with a friend because it's just like that. <laughs>